Many smaller hotels lack the resources to attract and retain customers like the bigger chains. Our next demonstrator is changing all of that. Here from Guest Centric Systems is Pedro Colaco. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Philippe and I, my co-founder at Guest Centric, we're really excited to be here today. We're not traditionally from the travel industry, so we've been startup innovators in other technology areas. Uh, but we're really excited uh, to share with you what we've done in terms of what we think is a breakthrough technology to tackle the word of mouth revolution that's going on. Twitter? Have you heard about Twitter? I am, I am on Twitter. Oprah Winfrey Twittered for the very first time. <laughs> well, now I've joined Twitter, okay, everybody? You've been following Levi on Twitter. and You've heard me talk more than once about being on Twitter. Yeah, I started Twittering. Why don't you tell us what you think? Tweet us. Hey, tell me what you're doing this weekend. I want to hear from you. I have over 800,000 people following me. Right now, I'm at like 100,000 people that follow me. Up to 60,000 people. 6,400 followers. The Twitterberry. Sitting, I can say sitting with Ellen right now. Tell them hi. Who can then send it to their 100 or 1,000 or 2,000 followers? Who sent it to their 100 or 1,000 followers? And it's geometric. It goes just like this immediately. So everybody's talking about Twitter, apparently, if you've been on the, the, watching the news. But what's really exciting about Twitter is that for the first time, users can easily and freely share what they're doing and uh, what they're experiencing with other people in an online community that has grown beyond uh, any bounds and measure. And uh, the issue here is people are now starting to share w how they're experiencing things, what they're experiencing, how the experience was, was it a good experience, was it a bad experience, uh, what they're planning, am I planning a trip, what are people doing here? But the question is, there's so much going on, how do you filter out the things that are relevant to us, the travel industry? Um, and that's really what we want to talk about here today is how do we filter the relevant conversations of people that are planning trips, the people that are actually um, commenting on something that went well or didn't go well, and how can we capitalize on it and find the relevant things? So we've created a, a demo um, of, this, uh, of this technology that we've built for customer engagement, um, and we'll start with, uh, with finding the relevant conversations. So F Philippe here, uh, apparently we don't have an internet connection. We do have a backup plan if that doesn't work uh, because we had some challenges with the internet yesterday. Do you want to try again? Okay, we do have an internet connection after all. Let's hope that it it's stable. But anyway, so what, what Philippe is going to show you is he's pl uh, logging into our, our platform, and we've built a platform to, to address uh, the online needs of, of, of smaller independent hotels. Um, and actually, it has grown now to, to really become a customer engagement platform where they can find the guests um, that are talking about them and, um, and can, can then you know, engage them. So let's, let's uh, see if this works now. So in this case, we created a fictional uh, hotel called the Fortune Valley Hotel in Boulder, Colorado. And uh, the hotel manager is trying to look people that are uh, you know, planning trips to, to Boulder. So if you click the, on, then on the guest finder, you'll see all the tweets that, uh, that have those keywords in real time. And you'll, you'll see that you know, there's a Luella saying a trip to Boulder, Patri Pat Patriots demonstrated something. Clarissa saying, uh, saw the pics for my trip to Denver, so really not relevant. Um, and then Carl Smith there saying, uh, planning a trip to Boulder on November 20th for a couple of days. So Carl Smith seems like a good you know, person to engage. We can now say, okay, you know what, we have a Twitter special that we've set up in the system. Uh, why don't we send that link to, to, to Carl Smith? So uh, the hotel manager can then create a link, select the date, select which language he wants to send the link in, creates the link and actually engages Carl Smith um, via Twitter without leaving the platform. So actually the hotel managers don't need to know anything about Twitter. They just know that there's a dialogue going on there. They hit reply and they say to Carl Smith, hey, uh, great to meet you online, something like that. Uh, we have a great promotion for Twitter users. Why don't you check it out? So obviously then on the other side, um, Carl Smith, who we've logged into his account, gets you know a great promotion, clicks on the link, 
and then um, ma magically that link opens up the booking engine that has then, you know, the dates pre-selected, the preferences pre-selected, and a Twitter promotion. This Twitter promotion includes free Wi-Fi so that people can tweet uh, from their uh, Blackberries or iPhones easily without having to pay anybody anything. He says, okay, you know what, that sounds to be the, the one for me. Signs into Twitter to be able to actually book that because there's a new restriction on that promotion, which is I have to be a Twitter follower. So he clicks in, he's now following automatically the hotel on Twitter and selects the, 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 the promotion in books. Um, please don't copy um, that MasterCard number because it's been used before. Uh, it, but um, we've, uh, we've obviously patched a, a fake number into, into the system. And uh, as he gets his confirmation page, Carl is now very happy because he's had a unique experience booking a Twitter promotion. There were no vouchers, no codes, nothing of those things that typically people are doing on Twitter not, not right now. He just went online, selected a promotion, is following the hotel, and, uh, and is now sharing uh, his good experience with all his followers, saying, I'll be in Boulder from date so to date and so, and I'll be staying at Hotel XYZ. So that's obviously now a transformational thing that happened, which is you found a guest on Twitter, you engaged him or her, they booked, and now they're sharing the good news about, about, about your hotel. Uh, very interestingly also, what, ha what happens next is that the hotel manager now has access to information that they've never had access before. We've been talking about pro profiles and you know, customer intimacy for a long time as an industry, but Twitter really opens this up because people are sharing personal information publicly, which means the hotel manager now can see a, the Twitter profile, including his picture. So this guest has never come to the hotel, and I already know how this person looks like, and, and that's really unique. And I can now do a whole set of other customer engagement activities before this person even comes to my hotel, because I know what he's talking about, I know what he's worried about, and, and I can do things. So uh, the day of the travel comes, and, uh, and unfortunately, uh, the airlines, uh, he chose a low-cost airline that didn't really give him the gourmet experience he wanted. Uh, the leg room wasn't that great either. And, uh, and uh, so he, you know, lands in Boulder, uh, picks out his Blackberry and tweets, uh, I just had a horrible experience, um, just want to get to the hotel and, and go to sleep, something like that. Well, luckily for the hotel manager, he has uh, what we call a Twitter center where you can actually track what your guests and what your relevant people are saying. And, and, and the, the hotel manager sees that while the guy is on, in, in the cab and, um, and uh, replies and says, we'll have a cold beer waiting for you. So s suddenly this person is in the, in the taxi and is coming to the reception desk, you know, to the front desk uh, with a much better mood than uh, they were in, right? They just had a terrible uh, travel experience. But, you know, somebody in the hotel actually captured that and anticipated that, that need and actually can serve them better when they check in. So, yeah we will have a cold beer waiting for you. That's it. Now, obviously, um, lots of things are going on during his stay. Um, there's a whole set of things that you can do while, 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 while the guest is in-house or, or, you know, help him find hotels, do all sorts of other things through Twitter or through the normal media in the hotel. Uh, but eventually, the person goes, goes back, in this case, Carl Smith. It's the second day is over. He's on his way to the airport again saying, looking forward to my... Uh, to my airline, um, had a great experience at Fortune Valley, highly recommend it, okay? What happens is uh, then uh, that, that basically what, what we've turned is, we've turned a potentially really bad experience into something very, very powerful, which is we engage the customer online, we, we actually got this customer to book, we anticipated the customer's needs, and then at the end of the day, this spreads virally and actually um, creates a, a positive wave of energy around the hotel. So um, I hope you, um, you, you liked our presentation. Really, in conclusion, what I'd like to say is um, there's a word of mouth revolution going on. And you saw it in the numbers that you guys voted about, you know, how important is social media. You saw it in the numbers that some of the other presenters um, uh, showed. Uh, but we don't have the tools yet, or we didn't have the tools yet, to engage the customers and actually make this a, a positive wave. We've been so focused on the negative side and on the reputation side, but it's really about leveraging this wave into a new uh, level of customer engagement. Thank you very much. Thank you, Pedro Colaco of Guest Centric Systems.